I followed the advice of all the YouTube coding gurus and this is what I got. More than 500 rejection emails. That's because anyone who has learned programming for 4 months or done one coding bootcamp thinks that they are qualified enough to give coding advice on YouTube. Many of these popular YouTubers have not even held a real software engineer job for more than a year. That's why you see hundreds of videos on top programming languages and how to learn coding that give you generic advice that is not actionable and leads you nowhere. And as a naive beginner, I went down this rabbit hole of coding videos on YouTube. I would binge watch YouTube to figure out the best programming language to learn on the next cool framework that is in demand. Every time I did this, I would come out more confused than before. At one point, I was learning web development, mobile development, machine learning and whatnot all at the same time. And after doing all this, when I applied for jobs, I could not even get past the phone screen rounds. It was all so overwhelming for me that at one point, I decided to quit programming. Fortunately for me, I had friends who worked as software engineers in some of the best tech companies. They gave me the right practical advice on how to become a software engineer and now I work alongside them in one of the biggest tech companies. Now that I've been working in the tech industry for a few years, I want to be that friend to you and tell you all about the bad YouTube content that almost killed my career. If you stay with me till the end, I'll also share my secret weapon on how to actually learn new technologies. This might help you save all the months that I lost to toxic YouTube advice. The first kind of content that I found highly toxic are the videos where they teach you a new technology in under 15 minutes. Want to learn Python? Here is a video where the creator teaches you Python in 15 minutes. This one even comes with a 100% guarantee. Is it a time back guarantee? I don't know. Looking for JavaScript? 5 minutes? Done. If you want to build upon your knowledge of JavaScript and learn React, you just need another 5 minutes. And these videos are no ordinary videos. They have been watched by millions of people. When a 5 minute video like this is watched by a million people, a total of 5 million minutes are wasted which is roughly equivalent to 10 years. Had these years been used efficiently, I can't imagine the impact they could have had in the actual advance of technology. Look, I understand that we live in a world full of distractions. Watching a quick TikTok while waiting in a queue to buy some tickets is justified. But as a result of this constant switching between things, our attention spans have become very limited and that's why these 10 minute videos look very appealing. But when it comes to learning hard skills like programming, I'm afraid there are no shortcuts. If you don't already know, I hate to break it to you but coding is really hard. And if someone is claiming to teach you a new skill in a few minutes, the person either knows nothing about programming or just wants your clicks. Many times, these videos are made to get your attention to upsell you some other courses. When that happens, these videos are no different from the ads we see for get rich quick schemes where they show you shiny cars to sell you expensive courses. There's nothing inherently wrong with selling courses and there are many creators on YouTube who have helped their community by making great courses. But when the person selling the course has themselves done programming for only a few months, it becomes very dangerous. If you think this is messed up, wait until I reveal the most harmful YouTube content that has destroyed so many careers. In my case, I would watch a few of these short videos and start feeling very confident. But when I would go ahead and try to make my own projects, I would be stuck in no time and had no clue on how to proceed. And in those moments, I would start questioning my abilities and feel like I am not good enough. When I told my friends about my situation, they advised me to start learning by doing coding exercises online instead of watching these videos. The moment I began doing that, I saw a clear improvement in my coding abilities and I never looked back again. Another advice that proved detrimental for my career was this constant chatter about learning web development frameworks like React, Angular and Vue. There is no harm in learning front-end development, but for a complete beginner like me, front-end development was not the right choice. That's because there are just too many different things to learn before you can actually become an employable front-end developer. You start by learning HTML and CSS. The moment you finish with these, you realize that you need to add JavaScript to the mix. Once you are done with JavaScript, you have to learn a CSS framework like Bootstrap or Tailwind because nobody uses just CSS. JavaScript by itself is not enough. Let's add a library like React or Angular to further complicate things. And if you thought that's all, there are things like Redux, Next.js and God knows what else. For a beginner with no coding background, it's next to impossible to master everything. That's why many self-taught programmers fail to get an actual job after learning all these technologies. And that is very demotivating and most give up on their dream to become a software engineer. For me personally, I learned many front-end technologies like React, Tailwind and Redux. I'm also guilty of participating in the futile discussion on how React is better than Angular. But after learning all these frameworks, when I looked for job opportunities, I found myself very restricted in the kind of companies I could get in. I was not getting interview calls from any of the big tech companies, which was my main goal. That's because I could not master these many technologies all at once. In hindsight, I should have instead focused on mastering one language. 
On top of that, I should have tailored the entire learning process in a way that gets me a job in the end. Learning five different technologies as a beginner is not as easy as they make it sound on YouTube. It took me a long time to realize this and it costed me many many months. And this brings me to one of the most demotivating content on YouTube. And if there is one type of video that a beginner should avoid at all costs, it's this one. This is the content where YouTubers tell you how they learned a new technology in 3 days or 7 days. Some of them even build their startups in a few hours. First of all, learning a new technology means different things for different people. For some, it might mean just following along an online tutorial to build some basic app. And for others, it might mean making multiple projects on their own to cover advanced concepts of a technology. Secondly, these YouTubers might have exceptional programming skills and they could be better than you and me. So they might be able to learn new tech skills in a few days, but a beginner cannot expect to do the same. Forget about learning a new technology in 3 days. I have spent more time on debugging errors when I first started out. These videos give you a false hope that you can learn programming in just a few days. Many people quit their well-paying jobs to become a software engineer after watching these videos because they underestimate the effort it takes to become a programmer. And when they hit their first wall, they panic and don't know what to do. If you're in the same boat, I just want to tell you that it's normal to struggle while learning programming. I have been coding for 5 years and I have worked at multiple big companies now. But I still can't learn a new technology in 7 days. Definitely not enough to post a video about it on YouTube. So skip these kinds of videos and instead focus on learning actual coding. This brings me to the YouTube content that wasted the most amount of my time. And that's these 10-15 hour tutorials on YouTube that teach you just one technology. The intention behind making these videos is to teach you this one thing end to end. But this doesn't work because of two reasons. One. If you think you'll watch a 10 hour video and you'll remember everything in the end, that's highly unlikely. 2. Even if you manage to learn and remember everything, you'll never use most of these things. Let me tell you my experience of working in the tech industry. As I mentioned, I have worked at multiple tech companies. Every time I switch companies, I have to learn new languages or technologies. For example, the Java that I started out with is no longer part of my job. So how do I pick up a new language fast? I learn by doing and I don't try to learn everything in the beginning. I focus on the basics. For example, if I want to learn Python, I'll go to learnpython.org and do the tutorials to get acquainted with the basic concepts. I make sure that I complete the exercise portion of the tutorials. Then, I start working on the tasks that are assigned to me and learn new concepts as needed to do the job. I call this way of learning utility-based learning, which means you learn new concepts as you need them. This makes sure that you run into issues that you have to debug and you learn a lot in the process. If you keep doing it for some months, you'll automatically become good at the technology that you are learning. And the best part is, you also complete some tasks or build some projects in the process. Avoiding bad YouTube advice is not enough to become a software engineer. You need a clear path for how to learn coding and actually get a job. If you want that, you can watch this video at the top or maybe try this other one at the bottom. I'll see you in the next one.